We're all familiar with the search and replace feature of Microsoft Word and other word processing software packages. I want to duplicate that here in VB and show you how it's done with string methods. I have a text box which we will consider to be our word processing document. And then I'm going to look for a string within that text. In this case, we're going to look for the word fox and replace it with another word. In this case, it would be elephant. So I have, starting with the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, when I click the find and replace, it should then read the quick brown elephant jumped over the lazy dog. That, uh, that string, by the way, of the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, you may recognize that from some font demonstration packages. Uh, that's a string that's commonly used in displaying fonts because it contains every letter of the alphabet. All right, let's, let's look at the code for find and replace. So I have an integer variable called location and then some strings of my string, search, and replace. And we're going to set my string equal to the text of that word processing document text box, which is named TXT my text. Search will contain the string we're looking for, and I'm going to trim off any spaces the user might have put in there. And uh, so it's coming from our TXT search text box. Replace is coming from our TXT replace text box. And again, I'm going to remove any uh, preceding or trailing spaces. And then location is going to look for that search string. So in the, in the default value of fox, search is going to be fox, and it's going to look for it and place the beginning character index number into my variable location. Then if location is a minus 1, meaning that it didn't find it, I'll bring up a message box and say string not found, and the title will be no change occurred. But if it did find that search string, we're going to replace txt my text dot text with my string and I'm going to remove the word that was found. So starting with character location and the length of the search string. So in this case it removed the word fox. So the search dot length would be three. The location would be the where it first starts. And then having done that, I'm going to also insert the character location, the replace word. So let's execute this and see if it works. So we have the quick, quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. I'm going to replace fox with elephant. And that worked. Let's replace brown with um, maybe red and green. So we can use multiple words. And that works. And uh, let's replace, let's try to replace something that's not in there, such as cat. So I'll replace cat with giraffe. And I'm told the string was not found. But I can replace dog with giraffe. Now I mentioned in an earlier video that we could do this using substrings rather than using uh, remove and insert. I'm just going to comment this out and paste in two more lines of code which is one line of code that extends to two lines. So again, I'm going to replace txt mytext.txt with mystring.substring from zero to location. That's going to give me the substring from zero to where the word that I was searching for was found. I'm going to concatenate that with our replacement word and concatenate with that the string that comes after the location plus the length of our search string. So if we're looking for fox, it's going to be the three letters or the third letter after the location. If I didn't have replace in here, it would simply get rid of our search string. So if I just had that, it would look for just our, it would remove the, the search string from our phrase. But instead, we're going to add in our replacement. Just to show you this works, you run it. So let's um, let's search for the word quick, and we'll put in very fast. And that worked. I look for fox again. This time we'll type in uh, rhinoceros, and that worked. So two different ways of doing the same thing: one using simply substrings with concatenation, the other one using the remove and insert methods. 
Here now is the exact same project done in C sharp. Let's just take a look at the code for our button. So I have a variable called location, which contains an integer, three string variables, my string, search, and replace. And we're going to place the value of, in essence, our word processing document of txt my text. Place that text value into my string. I'm going to place the trimmed value of the text of txt search text box into search. Do the same for the txt replace text box into the replace variable. And then location is going to be the beginning character index of our search string. So if we're searching for fox, it's going to be the character index of where fox begins. I'm going to use an if-else structure to look and see if we actually found that location or found that search string. So if location equals a minus 1, that would mean the string was not found. And then I'm going to show a message box that basically tells the user that. String not found, the title be no change occurred. However, if it turns anything else, meaning it found a starting location for our search string, we're going to replace the text property of txt my text with my string having removed our search word at the location for the number of characters that are in the search word. And having done that, we're then going to insert at that same location our replacement word. Now here's an alternative doing the exact same thing using substrings and concatenation, just like we did in the VB project. We can take these all the characters that come before our search word, and then concatenate a replace word, and all the characters that come after our search word, and place that into the text property of txt my text. Let me run this so you can see if this works. So if I search for fox and replace it with elephant, there we go. If I search for um, jumped and replace it with dance, that works. And if I replace lazy with beautiful and growling, that works. So it doesn't matter how long any of these strings are in terms of searching or placing. Um, if I want to search for beautiful, I'm going to go ahead and just spell this just so you can see if this works. So beautiful and growling. And I'm going to place it with mangy. Click replace. It didn't find it because I misspelled the word beautiful. Let me go back and fix that. Now I'm going to search for that whole phrase of beautiful and growling and replace it with the word mangy. So I can have multiple words in the search for as well as replace. The number of words does not matter. The number of characters does not matter. It will find and replace each phrase with the other.